Good afternoon, folks. This is Andy here, a.k.a. Montolio, and we're here for another Vintage Daily event. And our first-round opponent is Emsworth, and this is round one. And we've won the die roll. And this is a really good hand. We're going to keep. So what we're going to do here is we're going to see if we can land a Black Lotus. We're going to set Gollum. And we're going to play a Lodestone Golem. That's what resolve. Now this doesn't stop Moxen, but uh, or Lotuses, but hopefully he's got a fair turn one with no power. And he does. Oh boy. So source of plowshares is live here. Wall therapy. So that doesn't scare me in the least. So it looks like we're playing, uh, well, I mean, this could be Storm. Thorn Analysis. That's a good guess, actually. Uh, kudos to my opponent. I did not expect him to go for that. So we're going to hit him with a Sphere here. Um, or we could do a Revoker as well. But I think Sphere is probably the strongest play here. They, they both hold much the same utility. Now, if I draw a Mishra's Workshop then I can play both, which would be phenomenal. Unless he's got a Force of Will. And Force of Will is, I mean, definitely a possibility here. We're just going to play Mistress Factory and play a Sphere. And hopefully we resolve. Okay. So uh, there was some merit to actually playing the Ancient Tomb there so we could activate our uh, factory as well as play the Revoker. Now we're pretty much penciled into just uh, playing the Revoker. Okay, so we get our Revoker. So now we're attacking for seven instead. Unless we draw something, so... Mistress Factory, pretty darn good. Uh, Mistress Workshop, pretty darn good card there. So fetches are now shut off unless he's going to be able to kill one of our guys here. And he's got access to three mana here, so that is, there are things he can do. Okay. Wow. Golem too. Jeez, we can just clean out his mana here. Well, that's that's not true actually, but um do this let's force his hand here let's let's attack first hmm. okay makes me if we wonder if we we did that right or not but I'm just going to take his white source here. Do I want his blue source? I mean, he's in a pretty tough spot one way or another, so. Okay. So, it's like a wasteland. We got him, and next turn we're going to take all his moxes. I mean, he's dead next turn if he doesn't do something, so. Okay, Black Lotus is a good one.
hmm, maybe we were premature there. Maybe we should have waited. Like, if he's got a vault key here, we're in a lot of trouble. Yeah, maybe we should have just attacked him with the factory and shut off his uh, fat shot. I'm not sure. Three, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he's got a lot of mana. If he's got the ball key here, we're in trouble. We're pounding in for a lot of damage next turn. Um, you'd have to be, be able to remove multiple sources here underneath two spheres, so. Okay. Is this Tezzeret? Oh, we're playing Storm. Oh, I guess if he gets a Hercules Recall here, he can bounce it back, but uh, I, I'm going to kill him with the factory here. You have to do it main phase because I can respond with Karn. What can you get that cost? I guess you have five. Yeah, it's got to be Herx, right? Yeah, I was going to say, I'm not sure how he gets out of that. The good thing is here is our opponent showed his hand. We know what he's playing now, and that is advantageous for us. Because we know he's on Storm now. And we didn't know that previous to this. I, I thought he might have been on Grixis. <sighs> Alright, so we're willing to get rid of Triskillian here. Staff and Inn's just okay. Uh, Crucible is probably pretty mediocre. Um, I think we can get rid of a Forge Master. Here, I think. I think that's where I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna worry about Graft Digger's cage right now. Oh, should maybe I bring in a cage? Take out another Force Master. Great hand. One is mulliganed. Nice that he can't target us here. He's pretty, I mean, he. Nice, okay. Makes it a lot harder for him to win with a Trinisphere on the table. I mean, it can be done for sure, but he doesn't have a blue source right now, which is good too. Oh, well, there it is. He can't hurt us. Hmm. 
Next turn we can Wasteland and uh, do something like a Sundering Titan. Or uh, we can go for Steel Hulkite as well. Okay, that I can live with. Not thrilled about it. Sorry, yep. Yeah. It's pretty good. Okay, vault. I think, uh, I'm going to get a Steel Hellkite here and start attacking his mana. I'm going to take his Blue Source here. And I mean, you got to be careful with your life here, but... Um, I'm just going to play it careful here and uh, do it this way. Hopefully he does not have another uh, blue source. Library does not bother me in the least. Now I feel like Trinisphere is really doing a lot of work here. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to get, maybe I just want to keep the Forge Master. Maybe I just get rid of my spheres. I think I do get rid of my spheres here. I feel like I can pay the life here, guys. We should have this locked up here, but um, I mean, he's still got five mana, uh, none blue, but he could do something like a wheel here. Okay, so there's his blue. Now, do we want to go and get something here? <sighs> 